Welcome back. So we're getting ready for autocross tomorrow and we got a couple things to do. I got to change the oil in my car, clean the windshield. Um, I also have to check all the tire pressure. Ben's got to do the same and just go down the line. We also have to take out any loose things in the car, driver mats, um, the floor, like the driver floor mats, um, just basic stuff. They, they do a little tech inspection and make sure your wheels don't come off while you're on the track tomorrow. So just gotta do a couple things here and there. Um, and then we're probably just gonna chill the rest of the night. Yep. yep. So we're doing the oil now. What is that, 12 quarts? You bought a whole I'm box. Gonna put, I'm gonna put 10, you know what that reminds me I'm of? I'm gonna put ten quarts into a four cylinder. <laughs> I mean, you know how you can buy those uh those wine things? Like it doesn't come in a bottle, it's but box, it comes in a box. It's box boxed wine. wine. Yeah, that's exactly what that is. <laughs> so you bought the cheap, dirty stuff. That's what. Yeah, uh, it's bubble wine. It's not that bad. <laughs> no, it's full synthetic, and I get high mileage because I have like 120,000 miles in this car. But don't listen to him. Amsoil all day. AMS oil and mobile one is the shit. It doesn't burn. You get the full synthetic and you're good, man. What's in there? It's Ew. The blow by from the catch can. Well, duh. $10 to We're, drink it. We aren't even boosted and we still run catch cans and it's the way to go. It's... $10. Drink it. Ready? Yeah, uh, I thought you were actually <laughs> about to do that. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right. Uh, where's the painter's tape at? Stuff. Ignore that. I didn't clean that drawer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what the fuck, man? <laughs> yeah, I don't remember what my number is. I think it's 12. I only have back windows, so I can put it on my window. You're going to have to put it on your door, though. I'm cool with that. So you have Race card, yeah. STX and then your number. It's Street Touring X, I think. Right? I can't remember what the X is, but yeah. It's Street yeah, Touring I something. I, I don't remember. It's Wait, like... so you can put yours on your back windows? Yeah. Why can't I do that? I have back windows. I would be trying to fit it, but it, nah, I'll just put on the door. Door will be fine. All right, well, I guess I'll get to taping. I'll probably do mine real quick while he's uh, changing his oil. So, yeah. So, since I'm doing an oil change in my car, I figured I'd tell you a little bit about at least the motor on it for this video. Um, it's basically a stock K20 Z3, full bolt on. It's got uh, skunk 2 cold air intake, skunk 2 intake manifold, um, skunk 2 header, skunk 2 exhaust. Um, I got the Honda Flash Pro. I'm running um, a tune from Zach at Hacktune. Um, great work. If you ever need an e-tune, he's the man to hit up for Honda stuff. Um, also, just uh, running some other basic stuff just to keep the the motor running nice. Um, like I said before, I have a catch can that runs from the PCV valve over here over into the intake. Um, and then I'm running um, hybrid racing um, shifter, um, the full sh uh, race shifter assembly, and then the shifter hybrid racing cables. Um, down there. Um, I also have upgraded springs in the the transmission. I'm running um, a ACT clutch. It's uh, it's more of a piece together one. Um, it's uh, different different pressure plate and lighter flywheel. Um, big thing. I don't know if you Honda guys that are running Skunk Two. Um, one issue that I ran into with their parts are when you order this cold air intake it comes with a coolant pipe that runs down and almost hits your shifter assembly down here. And it eventually brushes up against the, the, the counterweight and puts a hole in your cold there or your um, coolant line, your upper radiator hose. So what I did is I ordered a regular one from Skunk 2 and that didn't come with the kit and I was able to fit it underneath. It's a little tight with the cold air intake with how it loops under, but I haven't had any problems with it. It's not rubbing anymore, but yeah, it's basically a stock car, just tune and bolt-ons. Um, fun car to daily drive. It's kind of loud with the Skunk 2 exhaust, but that's what I'm running tomorrow in autocross. Um, oh, and then I have a little bit of suspension. I've upgraded sway bars and coilovers, but nothing crazy. It's something that anybody could probably do if they got one of these cars pretty easily. Um, but yeah, I'm going to go ahead and get to an oil change now. So we're taping right now. Good thing my paint is trash, or this would kind of suck. I'm gonna edit that ass part out. <laughs> oh, whatever. So, this is the number I picked, 12. 
I wanted to do 69, but I didn't think about it at the time. So. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah, so this is what I went with. Um, that's pretty much all I'm doing. I don't really have anything else to do. My oil is still fresh because I don't drive this car daily. So, yeah, it's going pretty good though. We're about to have some uh, some buddies come over. Uh, one has a blue eighth gen SI. The other dude I haven't met yet, but apparently he's at my work. So, but he's got a ninth gen. So, it'd be pretty interesting. You guys will get to meet one of our other good buddies that hasn't really been around much lately. Yeah, so. he's got a full converted Mugen. FA5? Yeah, FA5. Yeah, I mean, yeah, it's got the wing, the lip kit, the stuff that... The nicer one, the 2011 with. with all the this shit that's fixed. Mostly yeah. fixed. But yeah, and I'm like the only one with a coupe, so I'm like the odd one out. But it's cool. It's good. The red turn. It's okay, it's faster than all of them. So yeah, it is. What's up? <laughs> it's still slow though, don't... Yeah. You know, I had some dude on Instagram randomly message me and uh, asked to race me. And I was like, what are you driving, bro? And he was like, a GTI. And then I was like, hmm, interesting. So I asked Dean if he knew him, and uh, he didn't, so it smells like power. But anyways, <laughs> I guess people just want to race me now constantly. I think I hear the other guys pulling up now. So, <laughs> <laughs> wait, 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 stop. Everyone, say hello to Sal. Gang, gang. <laughs> Sal's going to uh, Texas and he's going to start sending us videos from there and then we're going to upload them. Wait, he's we gonna... didn't, we didn't talk about that. Sal, you want to do that? Wait, what? He's... Uh, never mind, he's not paying attention. He's going to do it. Yeah, he already signed a contract. He's going to boost a uh, B-series hatch. Yeah, and he's going to film it and then send us the videos. Yep. Oh, uh, yeah, cool. He agreed. We're good. <laughs> yeah, so I'm draining my oil now. We religiously change our oil every 3,000 to 5,000 miles. I know some of you guys are driving around with your oil at 10,000 or 15,000 or 20,000 miles. Some of you hot boys out there, but um, we change our oil every 3,000 to 5,000 miles. Yeah, yeah. We, don't, we don't do that here at Jank Garage. We do things the right way. Yeah. <laughs> so Don't look at my zip ties. Um, if you drive your car hard every day, you you have to change your oil every three to five thousand miles. If stuff up, or if you're gonna mess stuff up, your um, beep. <laughs> your car's gonna start leaking oil because it's gonna wear out all the seals and it's gonna start running bad. Bro, but where's all your coolant at? <laughs> I siphoned it out and put it in my fish tank, dude. All right, all right, all right. I don't water. think I think no, everyone watching no. this stuff probably knows how so, to change their oil, dude. I will say, your bay is definitely cleaner than mine. Yeah, with 120,000 miles on it, man. I wish my paint looked like yours, though. Um, I don't know. My, my clear coat's really starting to go. Mine Good thing I don't drive it every yeah. day, though, so I don't have to worry about it as much anymore. Yeah, it doesn't matter what you do with these cars. If you wax them, put... Um, if you rattle can them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, there it is. You probably can't see it. Yeah, you can't really see it there. All clear coat, baby. Mm. Especially being in like Texas, bro. All that dry heat's gonna fuck my paint. Amen, brother. Amen. Amen. <laughs> no, you know what? You know what I say to that? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah, hallelujah. All right, bet. Anyway, Sal, let's go look at your car. I haven't it's seen your dirty. car yet. It's really dirty. I mean, she had she a dirty hose, so. Obviously, you got the anime chicks. You used to have some titties somewhere on this, but I think you took it off. Yeah. Radar detector, obviously a necessity. Stock Civic, full bolt-ons. And we're all tuned by the same guy as well, Hashtag by the way. Hack tuned, baby. Hack tuned. Hit up your boy, Zach. I can't see anything. This actually might not come out that great. <laughs> yeah, if they five squad. Hell yeah. Let's get on the light side. Yeah. His is definitely the cleanest car. It's also got the lowest miles. Like 60,000 on this thing? Yeah. I remember when he bought it, I actually went with him to go buy that car. And I think when you bought it, it had like 30,000 miles on it. And it was stupid clean. Bone stock, everything. Bone stock. But uh, yeah, 
We'll be back when something interesting happens. Hmm. This is the guy that sold me the turbo kit, by the way. Totally forgot to mention that. But yeah, he had the yeah, turbo my, kit. My parents made it in our sweatshop. <laughs> uh, anyways. <laughs> so Sal here is moving to Texas pretty soon uh, for work. So yeah, it's okay. sold me the turbo kit. That's how I got such a good deal on it. Did you find the brake cleaner yet? No, we don't have any. We don't have any. It's all right. Um, I think I just have to check my tires and then I'm good. I already pulled everything out of my trunk that's loose. Dean, because I love you, you can have my jack stands. Actually, Ben can have my jack stands. You can take them, dude, if you want. Yeah. All right, because I'm going to buy more. <laughs> I'm going to buy more then. They're his. I mean, do you want them? No, I'm going to have some at my house anyways. Uh, uh -huh. Never mind. Free jack stands, too. You can have them, Dad. Yeah. Tell me. I've never gotten Yo, the funnel's open. It's dripping, it's dripping, it's dripping. Nah, I'm just messing with you. <laughs> <laughs> so how many quarts comes in the big guys? Dean, you're like the most quarts, gullible right? person I half. know. So this is 12. So So it's going to be a little bit less than half that goes in here. <laughs> Dean, you're like the most gullible person I know, but I love you. Yeah, it's true. He's very gullible. Why'd you buy the box? Because it, it was cheaper than going and buying... Because he wanted to drink it like it was boxed wine. All you have to do is buy one five quart. It's true. Yeah, but if I bought two five quarts, it was going to be more expensive than buying a 12 quart box. Why do you need two five quarts? Because I can save this for the next oil change. Yeah, why didn't you lower it first and then fill it? Move out of the way. <laughs> <laughs> yep, it's out. Does that feel like six quarts in there? Do you ever get tired? That looks fine. What's wrong with you? It's been what? It's fine. Did he get tired of us giving you shit? <laughs> Just a little bit. No, he doesn't. He Where's loves it. Um, it's in there. So. Okay. Or can you hand him this piece? Yes, Daddy. Ah. Let it run for like five minutes. All right, guys. So check this out. We just took off the roof rack for auto X reasons. Look at that, dude. That sucks. Not an easy mm. one to get out. Nah, that's super easy. Hot glue and a slide hammer. <laughs> <laughs> we'll get that right out. Yeah, I crashed into a uh, garage with- A garage? Well, my garage. Well, <laughs> just for, for reasons, we're gonna say a garage. It doesn't mean it was any of these garages, but- um, Oh yeah. yeah, yeah. So- Yeah, it wasn't this garage. Yeah, that was a lapse in memory. I totally forgot about that. It was, it was my parents' garage, but I- um, I had a roof rack on, had the bike on the roof rack, and drove into bicycle. Yeah, I drove. He's into not the cool enough to put a motorcycle and, and on the destroyed roof. the bike. It was an expensive bike. I was more upset about that, and had the roof rack on. Didn't see any damage, whatever. I just took it off for autocross, and of course, there's a dent there now. So, gonna have to deal with that. The car's getting wrapped. Dude, that's so. aerodynamic, dude. I like it. We're still at this. Just a little bit. God, look at that. That looks like a colostomy bag, dude. <laughs> <laughs> nah, it looks a little low, dude. You uh, need to add the rest of the box. Mm -hmm. Well, good morning. It's early. We're a little bit late. We're running behind. Uh, we're headed out across now. So, uh, yeah, we're just about ready to go. And like I said, we're late, so hopefully uh, it's a cause of the issues, but we're going to drive on over and uh, yeah, we'll start filming when we start running. We're going to make it. This baby got a K24. That means we're going to make it faster, right?
autocross every month. It's I think the first or second week of every month. Um, we're running a little bit behind this morning, um, but yeah, it'll be fine. They do tech inspection pretty late. Um, we're gonna get there, get set up, and probably walk the course to see what course layout is this time. Um, and then probably chat with some people that we know. Um, we're in the STX class, Street Touring X, and usually that's one of the more popular groups because it's it's cars that are slightly modified but not crazy modified. Um, just like Ben and I are just running uh, full bolt-ons, naturally aspirated motors, nothing crazy. But um, we'll see you guys out there. Sad night indeed. We're losing one of our best friends. Oh, he's got to move though. This sucks, man. So, what's the time? It is 1.30 in the morning. And, uh, yeah. So we're about to load the, his car up on this trailer. And then he's got a, uh, wow, water just hit me in the face. He's got a 24-hour drive to texas and then from there he's got to drive another four hours to get home he's from arizona so it's really late i'm exhausted but we're gonna help our buddy out well let's get her loaded up we're definitely pissing off the neighbors but one second let me get my light out yeah he's good he's good you're good show and I was right. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Beautiful. Perfect. He's good on my side man. Just gotta come straight. Yeah how's he gonna get out? That <laughs> way Well, tensions are high here as Daddy Dean takes command of uh, pulling the car apart so we can pull the bumper off. Tires need to go over this little bar right here. Problem is, uh, car's too low, so the bumper hits the front. And uh, yeah, this car is like pretty much untouched, so all the clips are there and everything. 
unlike my car. So this is taking a minute. <laughs> okay, so while we have this break, I figured I'd explain um, due to some technical difficulties. <laughs> and uh, the fact we only have one camera really is uh, the reason we didn't really get much footage at the uh, autocross event. We actually had an issue with the camera where it's stuck in a mount and we were about to go up and run. We didn't have like a flat head to help get it out. Like it was too tight for like our fingers to get it. So we ended up just leaving it. It was dead. It was, we definitely screwed the pooch on that one, but figured I'd make it up to you guys by just adding in this last little bit of content for the video. And uh, yeah, definitely do better next time for sure. What are you looking at me for? That's right, get back to work. Look at that thick booty. Mm. Mm. <laughs> but yeah, we should be almost done here, so.